guys, welcome back. I am so excited. My makeup brushes came in from Dorkler Cosmetics. I have not opened this box yet. I thought it would be fun to do a little unboxing video. We can see what's in here and the type of brushes that are in here and kind of go through them. Just kind of see what we got. This set comes with 28 brushes. That is a big set. I already have a lot of brushes, but what I was needing was specific types of eye brushes. One thing you will notice when you're looking around for makeup brushes, you'll find some that you like, but they don't come by themselves or you can't get the eye set just by itself. So you have to get like the full set and you end up with a bunch of face brushes that you may or may not use. I have all the prices pulled up because I want to make sure that I'm giving you the information correctly. If you order them directly from the Doe Color website, you will see that it says $89 regular price marked off sell price $38.99. Now let me tell you about that. A lot of times they'll have a regular price marked off and then a sale price. More than likely that sale price is the regular price. They just give you the higher price to make it look like you're getting a better deal even if you actually aren't. So don't be fooled by that because they tend to, you know, kind of play little little mind tricks with you so you think you're getting a better deal. Now this set I got from Amazon. I only paid $32.99 for it. So I actually got this for less than the sale price was showing on the Doku on the website and I got this on Amazon Prime. When I ordered this, the delivery date was May 12th, but it actually got here like two weeks earlier. So this came in about three days ago. I have not opened it yet because I wanted to do it on camera, but let's go ahead and break it open and see what we have in here. Like I said, there are 28 brushes in this set so let's just go ahead and start with number one and we'll just make our way down the line this is number one this is a fan brush and as you can see this thing is huge i don't even know what i would use this brush for i mean i definitely can't use it for a highlighter i don't really use fan brushes to begin with but this sucker is massive this is number two it's a big fluffy powder brush one thing i really like is that these brushes are really soft and i'm really liking that this is number three it's called a buffer brush. So I guess you take this and you like buff foundation or powder or something like that into the skin. Four and five are foundation brushes. They're flat top foundation brushes, so they're a little bit more dense. Number four is a little bit bigger than number five. It looks like number five is more for detail, but I don't really like flat top brushes either, so I probably won't get much use out of these. This is number six. It is a smaller, fluffier powder brush. It looks like it's just a little bit more detailed. And then this one, number seven, it says it's a blush brush but as you can see it's got kind of this tapered point on it more than likely i will use this one for just laying down powder in specific areas probably in my t-zone where i just want a little more detail work with powder eight says it's a buffer brush but as you can see it's a little more tapered well it's not as round it's a little more flat same thing with number nine which is a powder brush it's a little little thinner it's not as big and fluffy we have a few more face brushes in the set and then we'll move on to the eye brushes this is number 10 Number 10 is a concealer brush, as you can see. It's big and flat and tapered at the top. Number 11 is another powder brush, smaller. It's a little flat at the top, but it's a little bit smaller. And then we have number 12. Number 12 is a contour brush. Now, I don't contour. As you can see, this is it's angled and kind of tapered at the top. This one would be a really good blush brush as we're kind of getting up in there. I actually have one that's similar to this one that I really, really like. And then this one is number 13. Number 13 is a round foundation brush. So we have the two flat brushes. And then this one is a round foundation brush. And now onto the eye brushes. These are what I actually wanted the set for, but since I couldn't find these in the set by themselves, I had to get the full set. But let's go ahead and go through these real quick. This is the number 14. It says it is a highlighting brush, so I guess this is a face brush too, but it's really, really small. I guess this is for detailed highlighting work. I tend to use a brush that's a little bit fluffier when I put my highlighter on, but this is this is really pretty. I might, I might get some use out of this. Number 15 is a nice big fluffy blending brush. I really like that. I need some more blending brushes. 16 is a flat definer brush. As you can see, it's like really, really flat at the top. I guess this is for when you want to like lay down liner or something right along that lash line. That would be really nice. And then this one, number 17, it says it's a smudge brush. You see that's kind of flat there. This one I would probably use to like lay down shimmer here more so than using it to smudge. So this is 18, 19, 20, and 21, and they're just different size eyeshadow shadow brushes. This one is a little more flat, a little more tapered. And then this one, it's a little bit wider at the top, but it's also a little flat. And then this one is kind of angled. I guess that's for like, if you, this would be really good to kind of really get into the crease there. And then this one, it's just a wide detailed eyeshadow brush. One thing I will notice, I don't know if you can see that there, there is a strand kind of sticking out. So in some of these brushes, they have like a little bit of a loose strand that's longer than the rest, but you can like take a little 
small pair of scissors and just cut that off. It's no big deal. 22 is also an eyeshadow brush. This one is more flat. This one would probably be good for laying down a shimmer shade all over the lid. And then number 23, this is also a blending brush. This is a little more detailed and a little more tapered. I like that. I'm looking for something that's a little more detailed for laying on my eyeshadow. This is number 24. It is a blending brush and it goes out a little bit wider on the sides and it's a little rounder on the top. I guess that's good for if you lay down shadow and you just kind of want to blend out the top that's really good for that this is number 25 it is a pencil brush that's good for just laying down detailed shadow in specific places like this would be really good for right here underneath the eyes if you want to lay shadow on your lower lash line around the outer corner this would be really really good for that number 25 is kind of an angled eyeshadow brush you can see there this is good for laying down liner if you want more of an arch or a wing in the outside you can just kind of lay your liner that way and it'll help give you that little sharp line on the outside of your eye and we have a lip brush and a liner brush number 27 is a lip brush number 28 is an eyeliner brush nothing really special here i never use lip brushes so whenever there's a brush that's like this one i will use this brush as just a brush to put in an inner corner highlight and then of course this little bitty tiny eyeliner brush that's really good for deep detailed eyeliner work you just want a really really thin line along your lash base and that is all of my brushes unboxed I really really like these I saw some makeup artists that were talking about these and comparing these to more high-end brushes which is one of the reasons why I went ahead and I tried them out I said what I really wanted was the eye set but they don't sell this set by itself so I had to get the full set with the face brushes too but these are so nice and so fluffy that I don't have any complaints. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I drop the links for both the Doe Color and the Amazon down in the description box so you can order from either website. But I will tell you if you order from Doe Color because those are going to be directly coming from overseas, it may take a little longer for you to get those. And with everything happening right now, we don't know what shipping is like. So the best of that is probably to order them from Amazon if you do want to try these out. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you joined my little family and hit subscribe and make sure you tap the notification bell so you'll be notified of future videos. Be safe, take care of yourself. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.